those here and on live stream. Um, I've been studying and practicing for this day, so I'm very glad to be up here. Uh, and I was fascinated how Lord, the Lord speaks to you in the most interesting of ways, like unexpected um, compared to the world. And one of them is, I've always been told that the larger the text you study, the more you'll take in. Where with God, you can learn so much with just one little word. I noticed this word that was never translated into English. It shows up 71 times in Psalms and even three times in Habakkuk. God laid it on my heart to get a better understanding of what this word is, but there's just no clear-cut explanation of what the translated word is of Selah. Selah is usually present after so many lines. It's not something that occurs only once in the psalm. This is a reoccurring repetitive thing in some of the psalms. It is not just at the beginning, as if it was just the part of the opening, and it's not just at the very end like it was strictly the conclusion. <clears throat> Selah is placed throughout the whole entire message from beginning to end. Psalms can be seen in a musical standpoint, especially when it's viewed like a vocal sheet music. After so many measures that are sung, there is a mark that rests on top of the ledger lines that, uh, that is extremely crucial to a vocalist, a breath mark. Selah is a breath mark. You can only go so far until you need to stop and take in what you have or else you will suffocate. <laughs> Selah isn't just something that is used in a psalm, but it's something that we need in our lives as Christ followers. We need time to take in the Lord. We need a time to sit down and study the word of God. We need a moment to meditate on holier things. We need an opportunity to fellowship with the brethren. We need a chance to testify to the works of the Lord. We need to breathe and take in what the Lord gives us to keep our new man alive. For the spirit of God hath made me and the breath of the almighty have given me life. The last thing we want to do is suffocate our spirit from the Lord. When we come to these meetings, we share and express the fruit of our labors unto the Lord. We come here to be fed, to take in what our spirits hunger for, what we need, what gives us life in this world, what gives us fuel to keep us moving forward and fight the good fight of faith. When we come together in the name of the Lord, it is our time to breathe, to take in what is good and pure to cleanse our hearts and minds, and to rid ourselves of the filth of, that the world tries to put on us. When we, <laughs> when we can breathe here because anything that comes from the Lord is pure. As Samuel says that the God, is the, God is perfect and the, word, and the Lord's words are flawless. However, anything that comes from a man is always tainted. For human help is worthless, as it is expressed in Psalm 60. When we are out there in this world, we better be holding our breath. We know how toxic this world is. We know how cruel and fake the people are that are not of God. We know how quickly one can fall into temptation. We know how easy it is to let our guard down and take in a breath we shouldn't be taking. Breathing is not only needed but is easily dangerous if you are not careful. You don't want to expose your most tender insides, your bowels, your spirit to harmful things. The prophet Isaiah had expressed this saying, depart, depart, go out from there, touch no unclean thing, come out from it and be pure. You who carries the articles of the Lord's house. Amen. Once, Amen. once you become unclean, it is hard to recover from it. It is not an easy, simple solution to make up the ground that you've lost. It is a sickening process to scrape the filth from your bowels. That day will be unforgettable. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Satan will fuel his temptations off of your memories. Satan's breath is death, but God's breath is the breath of life. Even though you had a time of weakness, God can preserve you and make the temptations ease. You can only find life in the Lord, not with Satan, not with things, not with the world, not with satisfying lust, and especially not with people. For people have but a breath, but the Lord breathes. Yes, 
Amen. The ones that are most at risk at taking in the world are the ones new in the faith. They are like newborn babies. They are not used to breathing or having a dedicated life to, this, to the Lord. And these young followers of faith, just like newborn babies, are most susceptible for getting too comfortable where they are at and forgetting, and forgetting to breathe and taking in the Lord. Living as a follower of Christ is not an easy one, and not everyone can remember to take the time to see law. That's why God gives us brethren. Like a newborn has guardians, the brethren help stimulate breathing. Mm -hmm. The brethren encourage us to grow, to get up and walk the way, to get, to get them strengthened and be strong enough to speak in a way of example. Amen. That is how I got up here. It is not because I did this all on my own. The Lord provided raw materials for me to learn and grow, and the brethren conditioned me to speak in the things I learned of the Lord. God breathes in us so we can, breathe, so we can speak out of him. Amen. Brethren, <laughs> Sila, take the time in your lives to take in the word of the Lord as much and as often as you can. Not just every time we come together, but look for a chance to Sila, to breathe, to set your mind on higher ground. Every chance you have to minister with the saints, take it. Every chance you have to meditate on scripture, take it. While you're at work, think of the Lord and his word. While you're out in the world, meditate in the le on the lessons that you have taken here. In doing this, God has given you a breath of fresh air to sustain your spirit and protect you from suffocating until we meet again. Amen. When we meet together, we don't need to be timid in what we take in. We don't have to protect ourselves from the world because what this is, is not from this world. It is, this is the work of the Lord. We can breathe here because God breathes here. And I would like to take the time to pray for uh, Brother Aaron as he comes up with a class.